Hello everyone, JRD on the 96 here with a brand new reaction. As you can tell by the title, it's another Jacksepticeye video and it's another Animal Crossing video. Now in the last episode we saw KK Slider appear on his island and perform a concert and everything. And with that he was able to unlock the Island Designer app on his Nook phone. So he's able to terraform on his island and do crazy things on his island. So I wonder what's going to happen in this episode besides the fact that we all know that he hates Sherry for for some unknown reason. We will never know. But I might as well just get right into it and see what happens. So without for the uh, duh, let's react to this video, shall we? Look who it is! Sherry, stuck in prison. The only way out is to the ocean. And I know you can't swim. So I've done a bit in my island since last time. It's going to look very different to a lot of you. Hello, Isabel. Hello there, everyone. Right now in hell, it's 2.59 p.m. So a lot of time has passed by. Is there any news to speak of today? Isn't it weird that after K.K. Slider comes to your island, nothing ever happens again? There's no new people. There's no new stuff. Oh, yeah, I'm all the way up here. And I look awesome. <laughs> This is a temporary outfit. Uh, all right, so if you can see on the map, bottom right, I am up here now. Hey, Buck. <laughs> He's just strolling by. So, Buck, I'm up now on the next area. I got some inspiration from Evelyn's Island when I was there. She has everything on like two levels but her house is the only thing on the third level and I kind of like that because I do really like being above other people as Tossboy. In hell, I'm the one that built this island, okay? I deserve a throne. Fucking weeds. So I did move my house here and I was going to leave it here because I did this incline and everything as well but now I hate it. So some stuff is going to have to move around a lot. That's why we are here today. Bell of moving! <coughs> Am I going to visit other people's islands? No. Rock. Yes! This is what I wanted. This is- No, you stupid toss! Why? <sighs> Whoops. <laughs> so he moved his house all the way up on a hill. I don't want to talk about it. Fast boy, what you lack in brains, you make up for in tooth. I want to be- Okay, I do have grizzly toss. Oh, no. <laughs> Which is the cutest thing in the world. <laughs> he looks absolutely adorable, but this is for when I'm going to the furry convention. I'm not allowed to wear it right now. Salad. I want to be salad toss. Caesar, Caesar salad toss. That's my Caesar. Uh, right, so what I want to do is we've moved Vesta's house. Vesta's house is the one up here. I want to move Toss up here. I want him in this area. We're gonna have to take away all of this. Do I have enough room? Yeah. We're gonna have to take away all of this stuff. This is the type of stuff we're doing on stream today. And that's why I saved it for a stream. Because it's fun. Okay, Red's not here. I also kind of want my house near Red's so I can keep an eye on him. So this yeah. is where I want my house. Ooh, money tree. Money tree, money, money tree. tree. Come to me. Money tree, money tree. How about Z? How about that? All right. Um, put you away. Don't bury in hole. I'm not going to bury rocks in the hole. Put away. Okay. 10,000 bells. There you go. I do this so slowly now because I have messed it up so many times. Yeah. So I am near Shari, but I'm more like a warden over the prison of the demon. Oh my God. Shari's over here on the right. I want to keep an eye on her. So I'm going to clear out this section and have this just be for toss. It's a nice little islandy... Kind of, there's not an island, but it's a nice thing away from everybody else. And then every other part of the island, except the museum, because I already built it there, is going to be on the second level. Nothing else is going to be up this high. I also found out that you can actually build higher than this. You can actually build another layer. And I was like, damn, can I just build myself on a fourth level? But then when you go to climb it, it says that I shouldn't climb any higher because it's dangerous. So the egg is still here. That's a reminder of how shit that event was. We're going to have to give it its own shrine and maybe surrounded in the worst types of garbage that I can find. But my island is going there and there's another thing over here that I want to show you, which is the, uh, the Hell Space Program. I have been a bit yeah. busy. I am building my own portal away 
from the hell. This is going to be my end game. <laughs> it's not done yet, as you can see. It's it's not the best. I have to round it's a it work off. In progress. I have to do a lot more work. But this is going to be where the space program begins. And then Jesus Toss is going to go back to his people. That's actually uh, this, this is a great just just a great camera opportunity. Why does the tree disappear when I go into the? <gasps> it's Saturday morning. KK is here. I forgot. KK, my dear. Oh, there he is. Hey, what's buzzing? Name's KK Slider. Oh yeah, there he is again. KK Slider. Before I hit the road again. I'm not taking requests right now. I just want to do my thing, let the music take me where it wants to be. I'll start taking song requests Rest around 6 p.m. Come catch me then, you dig? Nah. KK, you're so cool. KK, watch this. KK, you watching? Watch how cool I am. KK, watch. Okay, I missed that one. KK, it's fine. I missed that one. Watch. Bang. If you're cool I am. Right in front you're of the house. Whatever's in this, you can have, I swear. Oh. Uh, oh, I got a, I got a log stool in it. <laughs> I don't want that, KK. I didn't need that money. KK, look, I'm in debt. Uh, not all of us are super heroes. He's already rich, superstar. I'm pretty sure. KK Slot is pretty... dog, sexy man, okay? We can't all have it like you have. He's already rich. I need the money. All right, let's just sit and listen. Oh, this, this is the way. oh my lord. Fuck yeah! Cherry? Oh, luckily my house isn't there anymore. You think just because my house is gone that you can stake your claim on this area? What's in that sandwich? Did you kill someone? These are my flowers. You can't have them. No. Thinking you can move into this house just because I'm not here. Don't go in. Hey! Hey! <laughs> Get out of there, you monkey! Got to focus. Here is my new little, like, plaza area. I want to get some benches around here for people to, like, sit around, like, a communal spot. Because I, I like the plaza, but you're not allowed to put anything in it. So I decided to make my own, like, miniature one off of that. I have my stone roads going down to my airport here. Uh, I got a pink electric scooter so that when you arrive to my island, you can get on the scooter and, you know, just kind of kick it. You can get it. You can kind of get around hell pretty quickly if you need to go to the store, if you need to get anywhere. The store's kind of right up there, so if you don't want to walk there, that's a bit weird because it's really only like 10 feet away. Uh, if you're that lazy, then sure, you can take a scooter if you want. But you can also just browse around the island and just like fly around on... Ow! Pink lightning! Sorry, I'm interrupting the tour. <laughs> I'm that shovel. People are thinking we're trying to learn. Oh my goodness. Oh up my here, God. you have yeah, like, bones. Let's try that you can go into. You can go to vending machine There's and all that bones. stuff. We've seen this stuff before. What's up, Bones? Hey, Bones. Just killing it. Uh, you can go into the Able Sisters if you want. Able uh, Sisters. Come back here. Weeds. You can go to Penelope's house. Penel She's doing yoga right now. She's pretty cool. <laughs> I thought I she was Penelope. asleep. Uh, this <laughs> She's is doing yoga. Bones' house. You can go in there if you want. This part. Bugs the shit out of me. Obviously, and we I saw this last time. I had a panic attack in Animal Crossing over this. <laughs> I legitimately got pissed off about this. Coming up here, what's up, Bam? Hey, Bam. It's not centered. Oh. Or it, there's like one tiny piece. The entrance for the museum is three blocks wide, but the inclines are two blocks. So you have to come down here. You know what makes it worse? Sure, this you can kind of like, you can kind of look over it. I could probably remove all this and try and make it look semi-decent. But when you come down, keep in mind in where the museum's entrance is. Come all the way down. I made it go slightly right here because the inclines are off, but this is in line with the museum entrance. So my inclines fucked it all up. I hate that you can't connect the path to the plaza. Nintendo, what the fuck is wrong with you? Why would you allow us to make paths to the plaza? I rounded this one off because it just looks weird other way. So it's this tiny little sliver of grass that sticks between the path and the plaza that you can't cover up. And I even tried downloading plaza blocks that would try and go together, but it doesn't. It leaves this tiny little sliver of grass that's right here. Why? I know it's because these are different blocks and they're the edge blocks and they're rounded out, but Nintendo, come on! I changed the bridge here. It's pretty cool. It's pretty neat. You come up here. The campsite is here. Everything here is all the same. You come over. This is, um... 
Body's house. house. Vesta's house kind of removed the thing that I was doing here, so let's put it back in. It's time for Jesus to start changing the world. Okay, now you gotta put this down. I do like... That's the wrong one. I do like that I can put the path down... Wrong. I can put the path down underneath these steps. You can't do it for everything, however. Which again is another gripe. I don't know why it picks and chooses what you can do yeah. under. It's weird. Otherwise, it's like, no, you have to remove the thing, then put the path down, and then put the thing back on it. I don't know why. It's just a little uh, But I really like this, like, row of houses that are down here. It's really opening up this side of the island. Um, I kind of want to start moving more houses down here. I've, if you look at my map, I have a house up here. This is, um... Bon Bon's house, and then up top, up more north, actually, I can just do this. Up more north, I have, uh, whose houses? Yeah, Book, and we have Agent S. They're, they're huh, he moved too, there. Agent S? I want to move those down with Bon Bon's, and then down in the bottom right where these houses are, I want to put three more underneath. So where that branches off from the bridge, uh, next to the camping site, I want to make another line, and then put three more houses there. Or just have that whole section of the island be like like a residential area. And then, oh, Bam's house as well. I need to find a place for Bam's house. Even the museum on the map looks off. Animal Crossing stresses me out. The middle is still going to be the plaza and the sort of shopping district. The bottom left is going to I be I never really thought of it like that. Sort of nature I'm district. I'm probably going to so do that with in, my island eventually. Uh, orchards. I want to put in. I'm, I'm going to move all of my trees and have like... Six of each, again, another thing that I'm just completely stealing from Evelyn, but her island was really organized, and I was really inspired by it, um, walking around what, her island. No, she there's has, nothing like, wrong with having a little area, inspiration. And then you can just go in and just get all of the fruit in one section. Unlike some people. And I really, I really want to do that as well and put up little signs. I saw Robin had it as well, like downloading little signs for like cherries and pears and stuff. That's really cute. I want to do that. Then my house is going to be in the top right, the museum's top left. And then I'm going to flatten out all of that top middle area where my house is right now next to that river and the Zen garden. And I, I'm not really sure what to put in there. Um, we'll see. I might end up moving the museum again afterwards, but I want to make sure I have other stuff in place first. Hmm. Um, but it is, it's so annoying that, ooh, damn, that was a cool book. See, I want to put another row here and put more houses here and then move all these trees. But it is kind of annoying that putting stuff down is like, it's kind of clumsy. I really wish, I mean, I get why it's not in it. I kind of wish, you know when you go into your house and you have builder mode and you can kind of just pick stuff up and move it around? I kind of wish you could do that with the houses. Like pay for it, but when you're about to put it down, like hold A and then you're just able to like move it around wherever you want and then place it. So you know exactly where it's gonna go. Because right now it's like, okay, I'll move a step forward, put it there. No, that's not right. I'll move a step left and slightly yeah, back. Yeah, some of the... Right either. I'll move slightly right. It's so frustrating. And I don't know why that's not a thing. I completely get why you can't just move everything around instantly because you need to keep playing the game. And that's fine. It kind of drip feeds you. And that's cool. But I really wish there was some sort of like builder mode for when you have... You know when you put down the blueprint and it gives you that box... Yes. You just hold a button and you're able to like slightly move it around in a certain area within the frame. Let me do that. And then if it's over on a house, then say like, no, there's there's shit in the way. You can't do that. If it's over trees, it gets rid of the trees anyway. Why is that not a thing? I did catch some... I'll show you my fish. I did catch a cool fish recently. Or fish, football fish, and... Whatever that is. That one. <laughs> Uh, koala cans. Uh, soala cans. <laughs> what do you pronounce that? Coca-Cola. The Coca-Cola fish. <laughs> <I can. laughs> yeah, that's our cola can. I, I fished it out of the ocean. Um, let's see what other stamps we can do. The pond. I feel like these guys are a little aquatic athletes. Go team. <laughs> oh. Oh, okay. And then the coral reef. Wait, what? I didn't see that in my I museum. I don't know what that is. Ooh! A colorful, vibrant, warm sight. I don't want to swim here. We don't really have a whole lot, do we, Toss? No. Oh, I collected all the fish dams. Ah, oh, pretty cool. Oh! I finally got my T-Rex head! I got my T-Rex head last night! 
<laughs> Yay! Body What's up, body? Look at all these boys. I'm so oh. finished. I never knew that the people who go to the museum. Okay, Audie, you have one of the cooler looking designs, but you have the worst music. The Quetzalama blah blah is a great name. Audie? Quetzal blah blah blah? I might just change my name. Oh, please don't. <laughs> also, I never. Have you always been wearing that pineapple dress? Look at that bad boy. What's up? Well, I, I think, think my museum is complete. That's your it's fan. No, it's death and destruction coming to kill everybody. Wouldn't it be cool if I could make the outside of the museum look like this? If you could actually make your island look as diverse as this, that'd be fucking awesome. Yeah, it would. I mean, you probably can. It just takes a lot of work. Have you seen some people's islands? I'm pretty sure... It makes you just not want to play. Yeah, you'll be <laughs> like, you're just all. insecure. Wow. What if kind of freak me out in real life, but in here, it's pretty dope. Sitting on a bench at this fan is about as classy as it gets. Oh, toss boy, you need higher standards. <laughs> but anyway, like I was saying, Animal Crossing is one of the most stressful experiences uh, a gamer can have. It's supposed to be a nice, peaceful, relaxing game. But no. <laughs> I did see an article recently where some people were saying they were starting over their islands because they couldn't get their island to look as cool as other people's. That, and I mean, I get that, because you see other people's and you're, it's serious, like, oh man, I'll never accomplish what they're accomplishing. And it kind of, it kind of demotivates some people to not build their islands as cool, because they think they're not going to get it that cool. But then they were saying that they, like, they got, like, so stressed out that they started crying because of it. Because one thing in their island would not just go in the place that they wanted to go. I think that that's more of a case of social media... Uh, that's the thing of like, you need a break from social media more than you need to restart your Animal Crossing island. It doesn't fucking matter what anybody else is doing in their island. If they're just doing Just do that, what you feel is right. You don't some have people to... are just more creative than others. Just be creative. But if you're genuinely getting upset because you can't make your island look like somebody else's and you can't make it look a, as cool as other people's, who fucking cares? Get off wow. social media. Stop looking at other things and comparing your life to everybody else's. Live your life. Do whatever you want. Make your island look the way you want it to. Yeah. Whatever you that's make what it I'm look doing. like, it's going to be unique in your own way. And I mean, don't. I'm not trying to discredit their feelings or anything or de devalue their feelings. No. It's just that that's that's not an Animal Crossing problem. That that's deeper rooted than Animal Crossing. It's not Animal Crossing's fault. Um. But and there's definitely that like FOMO aspect to it, or maybe not FOMO, but you know what, that comparison. Because I do it too. I went to like PJ's Island, and I was like, man, I want mine to look that cool. I don't know if I have the energy to make mine look that good. But if it's genuinely upsetting you, that's that's digging into mental health, and that's where you need you need some sort of like break from things. You need you need to step away from like the internet for a small bit. And just kind of appreciate yourself more. Yeah. And sit down and like meditate and reevaluate and reflect and just know that what you're doing is good enough that you don't need to constantly Some keep switch notification to everybody else all the time. Anyway, I need to charge this. I shall now present you with the competition stamp. Ooh. Yeah. Oh. Your nook phone takes marvelous photos and the fish rooms make an elegant backdrop to be sure. Okay, oh, three prizes, bro? Well, give me, like, a plaque or something. All right, what'd you give me? <laughs> Fucking plaques. Who gives a shit? Oh, yeah, look at my new skull carpet. Oh, yeah, I have that, too. I have that carpet, too. I absolutely love it. There's also a wall, a skull wall, that glows in the dark when you turn the lights off. Area. I got a That's what I have. I know, I'm pretty much cooler than the rest of you, but... <laughs> It's whatever. <laughs> You're playing to no one. <laughs> this is the saddest part. Oh my god. <laughs> In my bank right now, I have one Ooh, point three million. Ooh, you, now. buddy. What up? What up, bitches? I'm basically ha -ha, rich. Once you start getting so many turnips, Wade was saying that he spent three million bells on turnips and then just sold them all for like 600 bells each. At that point, it's just fucking obnoxious. At that point, you're not really playing the game. <laughs> you're abusing it, that's I mean, about like, it. I get making a lot of bells off the turnips, but if I'm making... If, I, if you're making like 10 million bells off of them, 
at that point, it's like, well, now you can just do whatever the fuck you want, and there's no, like, there's no, like, grind to see what you can do. I'm not, I'm not doing the next expansion yet. I'm not getting my next room yet. I want to relocate my house. Whoa! Do I have you? Hop! Come back here! You beautiful bitch! Oh, come on, don't grab the... No! There you go. I never, I don't think I've caught that one yet. A Queen, Queen Alexandra is bird wing. You're gonna fucking sell a lot in the black market. Some people like to crush up the wings and snort them oh, for oh, living. Good right. lord. Let's start digging. Let's start digging this cliff. Can we also talk about how obnoxious some of the terraforming tools are as well? There. Here. There's your crucifix. <laughs> oh, jeez. Like, this, this is fine. But I hate when I have to take off a corner on something that it... <sighs> It just does this. Don't get me wrong, I like rounding things. Yes. But why... Look at me fucking start. <laughs> okay. okay, I can dig this out. Oh god, see that. Just let me demolish. Like, am I the only one that this bothers? Oh god. How it digs off a, a corner like that, and then you have to do it again to just get the square? There should be just a separate button for that. Right? Put it on Y to do a, a quarter. Because Y right now in this does nothing. Just have it be something. Or have Y be... Have Y be... Create the, the block and A to demolish the block. You have you have buttons on your controller for a reason. Is that allowed to go right next to the rocks? I don't... I don't know what I'm messing up here. Should I be closer to the cliff? Uh, that's kind of cool, right? Well, yeah, that's it. That's the one. Who's little face down there? He's like, help me! <laughs> I'm stuck. Help me! I'm stuck. Air circulator. Wait, that like? It's a fan. Oh, you mean a fan? <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, Amazon, do you have any of those air, air circulators? circulators? I would like one. An, an air circulator? What the fuck is he talking about? Oh, you mean a fan? How much are these worth? Four thousand dollars. Ooh, maybe? As much as possible. As much as possible, guys. Sweet. If I want to put my house down. I want to kind of leave enough space. I kind of want it centered. I want to leave enough space that I can put like walls around it. Stuff like that. <sighs> it's a big decision. <laughs> yes. So I can't move any other houses and inclines and stuff for today, which is sad. Let's see what fencing we have today. Oh man, I have these. I don't want these. So these change every day. Yes. Who? Oh! Stupid. Stinky. Any other stuff that I can buy or get inspiration from? Oh, yeah. There's playground stuff. Ooh, yeah. I could just abuse my position as a YouTuber with a large audience and just start having people come over and send me stuff and everything, but I don't really want to do that. Oh. I want to try and get as many stuff as I can myself first. On your own. Hey, now I have this whole area to do. I forgot. Oh god, what do I want to put here? That's the thing, as I would go to like PJ's or Evelyn's island and be like, how is your island so big? And then I realized that when you flatten out a bunch of stuff that it really starts to open up. I hate that this is not aligned. It bothers me way more than it should. <laughs> so stupid. I, I'll move them all over eventually, it's just right now it's not top of my priorities. It's not top of my morning. <laughs> um, but maybe we should actually take it out. And then just have it like that. It still yeah. looks stupid either way, but it's fine. Better. Why am I here? Nice. 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 Uh... A fucking nice. Also, uh, Nintendo, on the list of things that I'm being 
annoying about and talking about. Can you um, just have an eat option and then select quantity? I don't know why it has to be one by one. Just have a quantity counter and then have it be like one to ten. Absolutely not! What the fuck is this? What are you making, Toss? That's so stupid. Don't do that again. No! Oh, please be something epic. Like a new baby brother. I think that's going to do it, though. I think that's all that we're going to do for the island today. I'll plant some of these flowers down here. And then move them again later. My, my house took up this entire area. I'm so greedy. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, I think we'll leave Animal Crossing here for today. Up up for now? Sure. <laughs>
in terms of me, when it comes to me and how I feel about the game, I like it. I thought it it was pre I think it's pretty damn good. Like it's a, not the greatest game in the world, but it's like probably one of those, you know, peaceful casual games that it just seems like a soothing game. It could be frustrating and, you know, repetitive at times, especially when it came to me trying to get, you know, my house, you know, <laughs> um expanded on upon to max where I had the second floor and the basement. Uh, because all I was doing in order to make a lot of money, like I could have done the turnips, but I never did. What uh, my method was deep sea diving, just deep sea diving, just deep sea diving, have it all fill up all my pockets, then come back onto shore, go into the nook's cranny, sell it all, come back out, wash, rinse, repeat. It was a long, tedious proce process, but well, I think it was worth it to me. And it was pretty worth it for me, so I got all my house upgrades I needed. Now, all that remains for me to do, at the time of filming this, is to get everybody, you know, make sure that my island is three stars. Now, when it comes to the thumbnails, I want to try to be a little more unique with it. Uh, for the KK Slider one, obviously, I want KK Slider in my thumbnail. In some way, I want KK Slider to be in my thumbnail, even though it's going to be that thumbnail set in the future and not in the past. But uh, yeah, when I record this, it's before I get the three star rating, so it's going to be a little weird. But I don't think anybody's going to complain. But again, with, when it comes to, th especially with the thumbnails, I wanted to be a little different with the thumbnails. I know, obviously, there was a, lo a, a lot of, you know, moments with Jack face cam full screen but I was like you know what I want to be a little different with it and you know decided let me just put a frame a screenshot that I took from my game and put it in the thumbnail so why not because I think it would be a little unique and different so why not Animal Crossing New Horizons expansion leaks Island expansion leaks Unfortunately, there's no official news from Nintendo for any 2.0 update or possible island expansions coming to the game. However, there are leaks supporting the possibility, so Dual Shockers have put together everything you need to know. Certain Animal Crossing New Horizons the data data miners. It's always those types of people that mine data mine into the game, into games to find things. That's what happened sometimes. That happened a few times with Super Smash Brothers for Wii U. They found music for Ryu, Roy, and Lucas. Well, Ryu and Roy in the files of the game before they even announced the DLC characters of Roy and Ryu for Wii U, for Smash Root Wii U. So it was like way before the direct that they had for Smash Brothers Wii U where they announced the characters. Like, guys, don't do that. So, since the latest 1.10 update for the game, Data Miners has discovered fence customization, museum upgrades, and a specific line of code that reads, South Shore Baseline, Bass Line, was changed to South Shore Bass Line. Well, it's just different coding. The code South Shore Bass Line refers to the beach section of the island, at the very south of the map, this line of coding stops the camera at a certain point, well, almost like an invisible wall that stops the player at, at a certain point. But now it looks like the coding has doubled from 500 to 1,000. This mean, could possibly mean a form of island expansion is on the way. There are quite a few possibilities for the expansion. It could be that the current island will be expanded, or that a smaller island will be added to the south of, sh of the shoreline. Hmm. However... We advise players not to get their hopes up too much as the change could simply be some form of testing on Nintendo's part. So it just take it with a grain of salt because then sometimes that tends to be not true because, you know, stuff like that. Remember all those, you know, <laughs> reports of a Nintendo Direct where they're going to announce all these things? Like E3 is coming up too and you have... E you have E3 and all these leaks and like, oh, Metroid Prime 4 and, uh... Yoshi's Wacky World or some shit, and then it turns out to be fake. Like, it's just, come on, stop it. We're in a different age now. Stop trying to fool everybody. Get a better life, okay? 
So anyways, enough of being rambling. That is officially it on this reaction video today, and that's really it on the Animal Crossing series from Jacksepticeye. I don't think he has any more Animal Crossing videos on his channel right now, unfortunately. And that's just kind of sad that he has, doesn't have any more um, videos from Animal Crossing. Because he ended it as if he was going to be like continuing it, but he never did. But with these rumors, I wouldn't be surprised if he decides to return. So you never know. You never know, man. But uh, anyways, that's officially it on today's reaction. So I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, hit the like button, subscribe, share this video with your friends. Be sure to ring that bell to be part of the notification squad. Be sure to check out my Instagram because I make cool ads of Markiplier, Jack, Seth, the guy, and myself. I also do as a cosplays on there, so go check it out. And be sure to check out my Tumblr and my Discord in the description as well. So until next time, JRDLA6 signing out. I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.